Hey guys, thanks for tuning into Nev's Garage. Now, if this is your first time joining us here on our channel, please hit that old subscribe button and also toggle on that little bell. That way you'll be notified when the next video drops. Don't get too carried away about that now though, because we've got a great episode for you today. Today we're going to be talking about air compressor capacity, okay? Now, if you're like me and you do a lot of odd jobs around your garage, run a few air tools, okay? So things like air sanders, air die grinders, other right angle air die grinders or gasket sanders, okay? All that kind of gear takes a lot of air capacity to run, right? If you've got a little household air compressor like this one, sometimes they run out of puff, okay? So that's why I've got two linked together. Now originally, I had two of these little bad boys linked together. And they did the job okay, but then my mate Robbo had this one in his shed that he didn't need anymore, okay? And, gotta be honest, it was in really good nick. He'd never even taken the plastic off the label, right? So I replaced my second one of these units with a little bit bigger unit, right? Which meant I had one of these left over. So what I've done, I've stripped him down to just the tank, okay? So here's what one of those little compressors looks like without the guts on top, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this bad boy as an additional air reservoir, okay? So we're gonna increase our air holding capacity in our system, which will make our duty cycle longer. Cool, so let's get into it. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do is, so I'm gonna mount our tank, which will be our extra air reservoir, just on this little free piece of real estate here I got, all right? Now, this used to have a picture of me wedding cars up there, all right? Probably not the best use of space, didn't really look at it anyway. So let's take this to the pool room. We'll use that wall for something a little bit, well, more useful anyway, okay? So let's set up our tank. All right guys, so here's our tank, okay? Now I just need to prep it in a few little different ways, okay? So what we're gonna do is, this is the original outlet feed for the tank, okay? So we need to block it. So what I've got is a needle out of a tapered roller bearing. All right, we're gonna wedge that down into the hole. Gonna use a bit of gasket goo. So a little bit of ultra gray on there first. All right. Put him down into the hole like that. Gonna show him a bit of tough love with a nylon hammer. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the original fitting on top, okay? Gonna use a good old Aussie five cent coin. Okay, gonna shove him up on top of that now. Bit more go again. And a coin, bang. Bit more go on top. I'm going to put our fitting on there and make a little sandwich. Alright, now we're going to screw him down tight. Alright, so that's got that one blocked up. Now, we need to put in our feed and also our outlet hose, okay? So, got a couple of brass fittings, all right. Now we need some thread tape. Now our 3-8 elbow. It's probably gonna be in about the right spot there. 
cool. So that's that. Now we're just going to put some hose on the bottom for the drain. I've already put a barb on there. This is normally where they have the tap. I'm just going to put a piece of hose on there like that. And a nice new clamp. Like that. Cool. All right, so that's the fittings on our tank. So now what we need is a shelf to put it on. So let's get all that sorted. All right, so first of all, I'm just gonna take this fan down so you can see a little better. All right, now here's the shelf. It's just an old shelf that I found which would uh, do the jobs the right size and everything. And it's just gonna mount up here like this. Okay. All right, got a little L bracket here and I've made a little metal strap that comes down here. Okay. Um, and when we put the tank up, you'll see something else that I've uh, employed to carry the weight of the tank. Okay. So what we're gonna do is just mount this bad boy up there first and then we'll stick our tank on. Now you'll notice this notch here that I've got out of the corners. I'll show you what that's for. All right, what that's for is a spacer to go here because that's the offset of this bracket, okay? And that's gonna screw the tank to the wall, all right? Using a couple of spring toggles. So I'm gonna put those in now. All right, cool. So we're ready to lift our tank up now. Okay, guys, so I've got this prop up underneath the shelf, all right, on this side. Now this has got a little scissor jack underneath it. So I'm just going to level this side of it before I put the tank on. Just to make sure this L bracket hasn't sagged. That's about it, cool. All right, let's stick our tank up there. So, first of all, hose down the hole, like this. We are gonna cut this later. Now we need to feed the tank in on an angle. Like that. Now what we've got to do is push our spring toggles through the wall. Now we just line up the tank now. Spacer like that. And we've got some bolts to hold the tank on, which I've already drilled in the bottom of the tank feet and in the shelf. So we're going to put them through now. All right, so now I need to tighten the spring toggles up. So I'm gonna use my little Bosch driver with the offset head to try and get in there and do that. All right, 
she's in there. Now, in theory, once we let the pressure off this, oh, it's, it's lovely. Okay, she's in there. All right, so now what we need to do is just gonna cut off this hose now. Cut him off about here. And we're gonna add this little female fitting up in there. Like that. And we're gonna put a drain plug in the bottom, okay? Screw him up in there. Now up in the bottom goes this little drain plug. So that every now and then we can drain all the moisture out of the tank. Cool. That's that done. Now basically we just gotta plumb it in to the existing system. All right, so the hose is going right past. So we just need to tee into this and feed it into this. Let's just see how the hose is gonna work. You know what, I'm gonna spin this fitting around a bit, which will make it tighter as well. And we'll feed it in through the other way. Like that. Straight on there like that, boom. Lovely. Like that. All right guys, well how tidy does that look? Looks like it's almost meant to be there. Now how about we try and uh, give it a whirl? Let's do it before and after. Uh, it's gonna be pretty easy because let's just clamp it off. All right, we'll clamp it off, pump up the system as usual, see how long that air lasts just through an air blower. And then we'll do an after test with our new reservoir. All right, so she's just pumped up. Okay, so what we're gonna do is Got a stopwatch, and we're just gonna see how much free air the system holds now with the just the compressors, okay? So here we go. About 28 seconds. So I'm going to unclamp the new res now. And you can hear it filling up. All right, so she's just pumped up. I'm going to unlock my phone. Come on. Just pumped up. Got the new tank in the system now, so now let's see how much free air we've got. Thirty-four seconds, and so we've got about an extra six seconds of free air. So that's that's quite a bit when you're talking an air tool, and um, that's going to really reduce the amount of time that our compressor's got to cut in and out. So there we go. I reckon that's a job well done, guys. That's it. See you next time.